people, 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 people. Que pasa, sa, pa, say what they do. Now, people, the first thing that is popping in the news is that we see that the item or the topic of discussion that has been buzzing all over social media, all over the news, is an incident that took place in a place called Horizon Park. We are speaking about Friday. And since Friday, there has been a lot of trickle-down effect because we see that the Pope has been on a rampage and then basically take out the person that was supposed to be the alleged key suspect of the slap away of two popo officers and two others getting injured now people it did not stop there because we saw that the popo has also been to many other places then go look for this one and that one in this garrison and that garrison and people the latest incident is an incident that took place in a place called stewart town and when i speak about stewart town i am speaking about saint mary now based on the information it is said that in a place called Arakabesa, some poor poor pull up on a man, allegedly somebody that they are looking for, or allegedly someone that is associated with the incident that took place on Friday, allegedly. Now, based on the information from an eyewitness, they say that they saw the Popo search a man, took off his mask, and when he asked who are they looking for, them said Minoya, and then they took him in the van. Now, people, they took him in the van at Arakabesa, and that is in St. Mary also, and they took him home to a place called Stewart Town, and this person's name is Savian Hines. Now, based on the mother's account, she said that when the popo came to the house with her son, she asked them, oh, what Savian do? What did he do? What was the problem? Why was the popo here with her son? And them said, you is so no. After that, she said, based on her account, they took her into the room that she and him share, or the house, or the little shop that they share. And she said she heard one can pow. And then she said, wait, what is going on? And then she go around there and them run away. Them said, move from here. So they run away his mother. So the mother said that she said to the popo, you are going to take away my son in front of him mother. Is that how it goes? And them run away, same way. She said after them run away, she hear five. We are speaking about a total of five. We are talking about Khan. And then she hear her son ball out for her mother. And then she said she knows that that was it. He was gone. Now people, them take what the body and everything, but based on what the residents in the area are saying, based on what the eyewitness are saying, the cousin said that she saw him in Arakabesa and she even gave him $50. Now people, when we talk about 50 Jamaican dollar, we are talking about an equivalent to maybe about 40 cents US. So people, what is a man doing in life and don't have 40 cents USA for basically pay him fear. However, based on what the popo are saying, he is supposed to be some sort of gangster. He is supposed to be responsible for one of the most infamous cases in a Jamaica late history, wherein four popo get slapped up and also two passed away. We are speaking about in Horizon Park. So people, if you do the math, something don't sound quite right. So anyways, based on the information, it is is also said that after the mother hear all of the ball in here her son a ball out after the last shot she says she asked the popo and them running away see me so after that all the residents in the area them start throw all sort of things me i talk about all fridge me i talk about all stove me i talk about mattress me i talk about everything all care we are speaking about all sort of stuff I am speaking about all sorts of junk like we are speaking about an emporium. We are talking about Fred Sanford Emporium and people, everything was lit. And we are speaking about a lot of protests. People were demanding justice. People were calling for income. Now, people, when we listen to stuff like this and we see what has been going on. And like I said before, I expected the Popo to retaliate and I am speaking about in a very serious way. However, the truth and the fact is that the Popo does not make decision as to who basically gets slapped away and as to who stay alive. That is left up to the court. However, I understand that under the extreme circumstance, under the circumstance that they are paining right now, under the circumstance that them basically want revenge for their four, we are talking about Khan up soldier and also the two that pass away. 
people may understand everything because we are speaking about the mode or the mood that they are in. So therefore, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So I understand that. However, it does not make it right, especially when you do not know if these are the persons that are actually responsible for, we are speaking about the conduct of these four officers. People, it is not in the court. So my point is that we cannot allow the Pope to make decisions who are not decision makers under the circumstance that they are stressed out and going through some emotional trauma right now. People, it is always going to lead to all sorts of problems and all sorts of innocent persons getting slapped away. And people, don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. I understand that Jamaica is going through a phase right now or it has been going through a phase for a very long time. And we see them get out and we are talking about the gunman because them now ramp for put it on for the Pope because based on information that is out there from in the command force we are speaking about the popo and jdf it is said that that incident that occurred in horizon park there were at least 200 special sub people we are talking about world war three we are speaking about a serious thing that went down and also we saw that the popo were victim so people the point that i am trying to make is that the popo they are basically embarrassed right now and they are doing damage control and they are trying to save face however in trying to save face you are going to end up taking out some innocent person because people when we follow this case we see that there's a lot of mistakes being made and the first mistake that i noticed and i don't know if other persons have been paying attention the first suspect that we saw when this incident occurred on friday we are speaking about at horizon park they had a suspect that was wearing a red shirt people this is the picture right here the second person that they claim damian hamilton and people i am not saying that damian hamilton is not guilty because based on the information from the popo he was a target he was a key suspect that they were going for so therefore i can understand as it pertains to him However, as it pertains to Mr. Hamilton, they made a mistake there also because they had a picture of a purse in a marine suit that was supposed to be a U.S. ex-marine that also served in the Gulf War. Come to understand that is not him. We are speaking about a different person. So people, not only were they wrong that he was in the U.S. and in the U.S. Marines, they were also wrong on the fact that he was actually living in Canada and he got deported in 2017 for some sort of gun related incident so therefore we are speaking about mistakes on top of mistake and people that is not a recipe for success that is a recipe for disaster and people if we see exactly what is going on it makes absolutely no kind of sense point blank and period now people this is my disclaimer i am not trying to defend we are talking about this young man i am speaking about savior and Hines. i am just saying that i am defending truths and rights i am defending justice and based on what the popo said they allegedly found some sort of tool so people did they take him in we are speaking about in a rock we are talking about saint mary and then took him to stewart town at his house did they find a gun at that point when they went to the house and that was the deciding factor if he live or not now people basically we are not going to hear that there's any sort of shootout scenario because like them said they had him in the possession of the popo they had him booked under arrest and took him from one place to the next place so therefore we are not going to expect to hear that cliche talk that basically they came under fire and up and returning fire this man was held clutching for his life Rete, Lele, blue blah bling. However, the truth and the fact that the fact that they had him in their possession, booked and arrested in a handcuff, there is no way they should have shot him, even if they found a gun. And people like me say, I understand the situation, I understand the mood that this incident took place on Friday, so therefore they are emotional. However, if you are being professional, that is not how it works. That is not justice. That is not in the JCF. May I talk about the Jamaica Constabulary Force protocol of action by the Popo. People that is illegal. People that is unjust. Point blank and period. Now also based on the account of an eyewitness that saw him in Arakabesa, we are speaking about in St. Mary, 
She said that the Pope was asking him how long he lived in that era, how long he lived in Stuart Town. So people, if you know somebody and you know exactly who you are going for, therefore you would have known that they've been living there for a very long time. So therefore he was not somebody that did something we are speaking about in Horizon Park and then run go St. Mary. So people, I am just trying to make the link of exactly what is going on and where mistakes could have been made. And people like me say, I was not there. I don't know the underlying story. I don't know what type of information the Pope will have. However, me just as I said, based on the history and based on the trend that we see going on, it is very disturbing. However, if they are taking out the suspects, I am fine with that. However, if they are even taking out one person as a casualty of this war or as a casualty for result or for justice, people, it is wrong, point blank and period. And what is also very troublesome about this disturbing trend is the fact that somebody could actually call the Pope if they don't like you and give some sort of false information and say you have a gun or you are involved. And they are so impulsive, they are so desperate for some sort of revenge that they could actually K-I-L-L you or take you out without doing any sort of investigation, without any without doing any sort of probe. So people, me just say, it is very disturbing and you don't want the popo, you don't want to give the popo a free range to do whatever they so choose because when them do that, it is going to get out of hand because they have a history of getting out of hand. They have a history of making mistakes. They have a history of taking away poor people. We are talking about people from the garrison, people that don't have the proper representation because the truth and the facts that they would not go up to Narbrook, they would not go up to Cherry Gardens and do that, even if they had the same information that they had when they went to St. Mary. So people, this is a question. Do you think that the Pope would operate the same way in Narbrook or Cherry Gardens like they operate in the garrison? We are talking about Spanish Town, we are talking about Tivoli, we are talking about Rima, we are talking about Denham Town. People, let me know what you think in the comment section. Now, our next big mistake that the Popo also made as it pertains to this incident that occurred on Friday in Horizon Park is the fact that they were parading a picture on social media. It was a picture of a man that was said to be Damian Hamilton, that was said to be a Marine, only to find out that this man is a man that is a taxi man or a hard working man in Jamaica. That was the actual person in that picture. That was the actual Marine that lived overseas and also served in the US Army people he was deported from america damian hamilton he was deported from canada so people we are talking about a big mistake and if we take into consideration that the pope is supposed to be an investigative group they are the person that are responsible to serve and protect the citizens of jamaica People, it is very troubling. And like me say, this is my disclaimer once again, one more again, because me no say have the Popo Tete and the soldier Tete them over here and them not understand that this is not the cone channel and this channel may deal with justice. If you're wrong, you're wrong, me not care at all. If you are the Popo, if you are the preacher, if you are the police, if you are the politician, I don't give a R-A-T-S-A-S-S. -A -S -S point blank and period so anyways people like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up